In today's lab experiment, we are going to use various physical and chemical properties of these unknown liquids in order to identify them. We have liquid number one, liquid number two, and liquid number three. Some of these tests have already been performed for you and the results have been recorded in the data table provided to you in your OneNote. The following tests will be experimented and filmed which include boiling point, solubility of sugar, solubility of oil, and flammability. We will start with the boiling point experiment. Please record your observations in the data table for the various liquids. We will begin our first boiling point experiment and we will place all three liquids on the hot plate at the same time and observe which one boils first, second, and third. That's liquid number one, two, and three. As you can see, liquid number three has already begun boiling, followed by liquid number two, and then liquid number one. Please make sure to rank them in order in which we saw them boil. Liquid number three boiled first, liquid number two boiled second, and liquid number one boiled third. We will now perform the solubility test. First, we will start with a small amount of sugar and place that into each of the test tubes. We will then shake the test tubes for approximately 30 seconds and observe if sugar is soluble in the solutions. All right, we will begin by looking at test tube number one. As you can see in test tube number one, no sugar appears to be inside of the solution, which means that the sugar has dissolved in this liquid. We are now observing test tube with liquid number two, and we see the same result. There's no sugar suspended at the bottom of the test tube, and it looks as though the sugar has mixed in the solution, indicating that sugar is dissolved in this liquid. We are now observing test tube number three. And as you could see here on the bottom, uh, there is the sugar has still settled, meaning it has not mixed with the solution, indicating that sugar is not soluble in this liquid. It did not dissolve. We will now perform the solubility test for vegetable oil. We will place 10 drops of vegetable oil in each of the three different test tubes containing our three different liquids. We will then shake each test tube for approximately 30 seconds and then observe the results. All right, we are ready to observe our results of our oil solubility. Looking at our first test tube, we can see that the oil has not mixed with the liquid. It appears as though um, it is cloudy, which indicates that oil is not soluble. And if you look closely, which I'm not quite sure you can see in the camera, but you can see that there are oil bubbles floating around inside of the liquid. Now looking at test tube number two, kind of the same results. You can see that the oil droplets are still present inside 
little out of focus here. Um, but you can see that they are still suspended in the liquid. Uh, we see this oily layer up here at the top, which indicates that the oil is not mixed with this liquid. And now looking at test tube number three, there's no separation in the oil layer. We can see that although it is cloudy, there are no oil um, droplets suspended in this liquid, which would indicate that the oil is soluble in this liquid, meaning that it did dissolve. And once again, if you look more closely at all three of them together, you can see this clear separation in the oil layer for liquid number one, liquid number two, but not for liquid number three. There's no oil separation in the liquids, which indicates that it is soluble in liquid number three. We will now perform the flammability test of each of the unknown liquids. We will start with liquid number one. With one milliliter of the liquid, we are going to pour it into our aluminum cup. We will then light the match, place the match in the aluminum cup. And as you can see, the flame is extinguished once it is placed in the liquid. We will now wipe the liquid from the cup. And we will test liquid number two, placing once again one milliliter of liquid number two in the aluminum cup. We will light our match, place the match in the liquid to observe whether it is flammable or not. And as you can see in the video, the match has been extinguished, which indicates that it is not flammable with this liquid. Our final test will be for liquid number three. Once again, we are placing one milliliter of liquid number three in the aluminum cup. We will now light our match and place the match in the liquid and observe that our liquid is flammable.